All right, what's up, guys? And now with the addition of Burning Shadows to the Pokemon Trading Card Game Online, I figured I'd play a deck for you guys that is going to be for post-rotation. And I'm going to be playing Darkrai GX slash EX. I'm going to be playing four Darkrai EX and two GX. And I'll get in a couple games here for you guys. And then I'll show you guys uh, a little bit of the deck so you guys can see why I play 4 and 2. And let's get to it and see if we can find an opponent. So, of course, since this is a post rotation list, there is no Lysander and no Versus Seeker and cards like that. I've already changed up the list, and you're going to see some of the newer stuff that I'm playing. So I didn't get that coin flip, but uh, that's fine. That's actually pretty good. We started off with Anivalto. Nice. Mm, nice indeed. And we got the Altar of the Moon. That's pretty sweet. That way we can just retreat on the following turn, if anything. Ooh, an Eevee. Okay, so he's playing Garbodor, uh, Espeon. Okay, let's see how we fare. And before anything, that Bridget, that Full Art Bridget right there looks really nice. That Full Art Drumpa. One verse four Trubbish. I guess. And there goes that turn one, Espeon. So I believe that should be it for his turn, but we'll see. I'm guessing that's the trouble she's gonna make into the Garbotoxin and Garbodor. Wow, we whiffed on that energy. My goodness. And normally I wouldn't want to give my opponent a refresh on their hand, but right now I feel like I need to get more cards out. And at least we get one. As Spider-Man would say in Family Guy, everybody gets one. Tell him, Peter. Apparently, everybody gets one. And sadly, we don't have any energy. But if we're lucky, we can hit an energy next turn and get that retreat going. And, oh, see, he's playing Guzma. He's playing one of the newer cards. He had the same idea that I wanted to have. That, that retreating. Ooh, I'm glad I'm resistant to that. And I'm glad another, another one came out. So, we're going to end you again in the hopes of getting more energy out. And yeah, we're going to plant an energy on you. Drop you down. And yeah, you see, I'm also playing a Guzma. Just gonna attack here and sadly no energy I think maybe I should have attached that energy to the dark cry and started going ham but I guess I misplayed it happens or maybe I didn't misplay and maybe I knew he was gonna die either way and I wanted to save him and try to have another one ready as well We'll see. So this if Alto couldn't get knocked out, I think. No, it would be the same thing. Uh, 60. Does it base 60? I think, right? Yeah. 60. 70, 80. And it does. 60. 70, 80, 90. 
Yeah. Spreading the damage. Hooray. Yeah. It's pretty much just gonna get this one KO'd. But then in the long run, that sets up the Oblivion Wing so I can get the other one. So I guess I'm up. We'll get an energy on you. We'll go with this Kukui and draw some cards. And we'll get it on you. And sadly we lost our outro of the moon. But that's fine. Because we have your boy, Guzma. Yeah, either way, this, uh, this Espeon would be gone next turn if I just attack again with Ivalto. But I don't have any energy to kind of help that out. We did get another Ultra of the Moon, and he has one on the field as well. Alright, so... I guess that was smart of him to retreat. It's in this card, isn't it? He has an altar of the moon himself, so it should be fine. And we can get rid of that. And ah, uh, it's. It was, it was prized, what I was looking for. Oh well. And we were able to hit an energy here. And we're going to go on the hunt for your boy. And your boy coming in. And that dark post coming in for that 120. There it is. That's my secret tech right here. A Marshadow GX. Now next turn, I can slam him down. Hopefully hit a few energies. And boom, that Marshadow I play for Pokemon like Drampa and Tauros GX and other Pokemon that are just weak to fighting types. So that's my one secret tech, Marshadow GX for that Shadow Hunt ability to be able to let me copy the uh, Dark Pulse of that Dark Ryan Graveyard. Ooh, he has his own, ya boy. Uh, at 170 though, uh, let's see, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 120, 140, yeah, 140, my goodness, my goodness. And 
and then here we just end him and allows us to get more cards and we'll go with that dark pose here fetching us another card oh wow we had another dark right prize that's not good not at all Oh, okay, so he's playing Versus Seeker. So he's playing new stuff and old stuff. He's playing he's playing a mixture of the uh, Burning Shadow stuff with with Versus Seeker and things like the other card you'd find in pre-rotation decks still. Drop a GX. And it's fine, I still have my pre-rotation deck. Uh, Zorark, uh, Drumpa. But I've also made this. And he's coming in with that N. Ooh, let's see what three cards I get. I'm actually okay with that. And Dark Pulse getting us that KO. Ooh, that Ultra Ball. Real clutch. Real clutch. Now we can get that sycamore next turn. And then we can land this dark grind in the graveyard so we can use his restoration ability and res it back with that energy. Pretty sweet. Ooh, he must be trying awfully hard to land that Garbodor and that energy. Or maybe he has the energy or maybe he has the Garbodor and he's missing one or the other. Oh goodness gracious, he didn't have it. And I guess my other Lele was prized. That's fine. Restoration ability coming in. And that's why the new Dark Rai is so good right now. And I think from here we just kind of got it. And there's a Lele. Good. Guess he's either weighing out his options or yeah, he's probably just weighing out his options. But at this moment in time, I have enough energy on board where that dark post can just hit, hit, hit him hard. And even if I don't get the knockout for whatever reason, I can just get an energy on Marshadow and hit him for weakness as well and that's be nice here and he gave us the win now this yeah like he must have just started over and realized that there was nothing that he really could have done and look we're one step closer to getting that challenge done as well completely forgot about that and hooray we got that Volcanian EX. Cool. All right, I'm still testing the deck, so this isn't the final product, but at least this is at least something pretty decent. I played it a few times already, and I've been doing okay. You win some, you lose some. And I want that dice roll or a coin flip. Yay. And he had nothing to put up as an active. At least we had that Evalto. Nice. Ooh, he's playing Goduck. It's actually a pretty okay deck, I think. Uh, 
and hopefully we land an ultra ball here. And we didn't, but that's fine with me. Ooh, he's playing down the Krosma GX. Pretty darn cool. I guess we can fan club here. We can grab that and that. And we'll put this on the other one. And then we'll go for that. And since it is turn one, I can't do anything else. But potentially next turn, if our next card isn't that great, then we can just let it live for a Sycamore. Or we can land this Dark Ride Grave and we can get the ball rolling. Awesome sauce. He opened the bridge it. You didn't have to let it for it. Great. Alright. Yep, and for sure. Gonna get me a sycamore. Who needs N when you have a Dark Ray GX in hand with an energy and a Sycamore? Ooh. Kinda wish I had landed that energy, but oh well. Guess I'm just gonna land an attack here. Fetch that energy and voila. Ooh, there goes the gold duck. Oh, but it's a different gold duck. Interesting. And there's that mana fee. Nice. Ooh, I don't even know what he's fetching. Oh, Gold Duck Break. I believe Gold Duck Break lets you move around the uh, water energy or something along those lines. Yep, it lets you move around water energy. So we left us both used but I'm fine with that because by now I can free retreat to you yeah and we'll dark pulse here get that knockout Let's grab that. And he promoted that gold up break. But that's fine because it's the gold that break and just transfer all the energy away. I wonder if we put it on the necrozma. No, he probably not. You can put it here in the clamper to kind of act as a shield of some sort. Put one there, one on itself, and then free retreat.
guess he retreated him to the Necrozma. Oh, I guess he can GX and do 100 damage each to both Dark Rise. That is an option too. Yep. And did the 100 damage to Lele as well. But we get at least that free shuffle. And let's get rid of both of those cards. And then we'll cocoon it here for more. More damage. And then, yeah. Uh, will allow us to free retreat into the one that doesn't have any damage. And we'll get that knockout out of the way. I don't know why I put a choice band on that cuckoo on that dark ride was gonna retreat it. I didn't think about that. Oh well. I think that's what he can do. Oh, but the damage has to be 50 damage or less. So it's not really all that efficient. So yeah, I think he's lost this one. But I could be wrong. Ooh, that wonder tag, wonder what he's getting. Grabbing that end, pretty nice. Because he gets a full hand, and I don't. Yep, probably getting my stadium and the XP share, okay. Pretty good. What I would suggest here, and this would be me, of course, would be putting a, uh, energy here in the clamper, and kind of just letting letting it letting it get KO'd. So you're only going to be giving away a prize. Nice little lele. Now the question is, I don't think I need more cards now. But you never know. And here comes the dark pulse. About 160 damage. And it's your boy. Scooped it up. Yep, there wasn't much else he could do there. And I got us one step closer to that challenge. Alrighty. So let's 
go over here and we'll show you guys the deck real quick. And let's change the formatting to this. Alright, so we're playing four Darkrai. Uh, main attacker, of course, Darkrai EX. The Dark Pulse. It's going to do base 20, but it's going to do 20 more damage for every Dark Energy. Now we have attached to all of the Pokemon. He is the big daddy. He is going to come in swinging hard. So we play four of him. Now we play two copies of the new Darkrai, the Darkrai GX. Leave the HP is the same, 180, but we play him as a two of mostly for his ability more than for his attack. His attack is okay. Yeah, it has 130 damage for three energy. And this is affected by resistance, which is nice, but his GX is pretty okay too, but it doesn't work to our favor since it would only work whenever your opponent's active will be affected by special conditions. So you'd have to play him, I guess, with like Salazzle or Alolan Muck, a GX or something, Muck GX or something, I don't know. But we play him for his restoration ability that says, once during your turn before you attack, if this Pokemon is in your discard pile, you can put it onto your bench and then attach a dark energy to him. So that allows us to get more energy out for that dark pulse of this dark ride. And then we play, I don't know what it's trying for, but we play three copies of the red of the baby of Alto. Uh, thinking of two, I've seen a few decks running around that play two, but I like three for the purposes of if in case it, one of them gets prized or in case something happens, I like to be able to see it in my opening hand or to at least see it enough times where, where it's reasonable to play it. So that's why I play three. I don't think that four is necessary anymore since the deck's a little different now. So three. And then my one spicy tech is Marshadow GX. Since cards like, uh, I believe, yeah, since cards like Drumpa GX, Tauros, and a few other cards are weak to fighting, I figure I can tech in a Marshadow GX for the fighting weakness. Now, as you can tell, we don't play any fighting energy, but we played you play the Marsh Shadow for its ability, Shadow Hunt. It pretty much said that it lets us uh, copy the attack of any of our basic Pokemon in our graveyard, or discard piles, you would say, in Pokemon, I guess. And as long as we have the necessary energy for it, and lucky for us, Dark Ray EX's Dark Pose is colorless energy. So we can just attach Dark Energy to it, and get that dark pulse going. Now, if you really wanted to, I guess you could you could play one or two fighting energy. I wouldn't, or make a deck with around dark shadow. I guess its GX is pretty good. This does 50 damage times the amount of basic energy attached to this Pokemon. So you can attach basic energy on him somehow. Of course, one of them being fighting for its GX, and he can do a bunch of damage. But for us, he's just there for that ability. And then two Tapu Lele, kind of self-explanatory, that Wonder Tag, uh, more, impo now, more important now more than ever, we are, now that we are losing Versus Seeker, that's as any of our supporters that we want with Wonder Tag, and since we are playing an EX deck, we can't play Bridget, so instead I play one copy of Pokemon Fan Club, so that Wonder Tag can fetch us the, the Fan Club turn one if we need to get some EXs or an Ivelto and a Darkrai EX or something. Now playing two copies of Field Blower. I was originally playing one, but I had I bumped it up to two, seeing that uh, you know tools are more prevalent now, especially with that Garbotoxin being really scary. Uh, I need those Dark Right GXs and that Mars Shadow to be able to, to be to be active and live and be able to use their abilities. And of course, self-explanatory for a basic deck. Playing four max elixirs, just be able to still rapidly get that energy out. Playing one rescue stretcher, in case for whatever reason I have to discard a Lele or a Dark Ray EX, or they get knocked out or something, and I can just get them back. Four Ultra Balls, lets us grab the Leles, lets us grab the Marsh Shadow, lets us grab just about anything, and of course it fuels our our energy in our discard if we need, so we can discard the energy. So we can res that dark right or that Ivelto can come in and do what it's supposed to do. 
Now playing four copies of Ultra of the Moon. It makes the retreat cost of a Pokemon with dark or psychic energy uh, attached to it be two less. So it essentially makes Dark Rise, EXs, GXs, uh, Eveltos, practically anything in this deck have free retreat. That way we don't waste any dark energy, so we can keep that dark pulse going strong. And of course, what deck isn't complete without Chaboy? Playing three copies of Guzma, of course, because you know now that Lysander is rotating out, we we need to find a way to be able to uh, fish out our opponent's active Pokemon. So of course, with Guzma, we also get a switch, so we can switch into our Dark Right EXs if we have Invelto active, or in case we do need to come back to that active that we had to switch out, then Alter the Moon gives us the free retreat back. So it's fine. Playing 3N, um, Tough Explanatory, and the One Fan Club, already said that. Playing not one copy of Kukui, now playing two copies of Kukui, because I need I want to see it more often. And it is still a good card. Playing now four copies of Sycamore in this deck, uh, getting that energy and the Dark Red GX in the graveyard is pretty necessary at this point. And you know, drawing more cards, what, what else can you hope for? So, playing three choice bands to be able to do more damage, and playing three experience share so we can get that energy onto our bench Pokemon in case our active dies. And then, of course, 14 dark energy uh, to be able to see it more often with that for that max elixir for we can discard them for the ultra balls. For various various different things so yeah this is this isn't like my final product for the deck I'm still working on it of course always gonna be working on it but I just wanted to have something for you guys so you guys can get an idea if you guys were building a variation of, of Dark Rye and then of course this Mars Shadow GX tech was not my idea I saw it on someone else's uh, deck a while back when when they were proxying all these cards to, to kind of make a deck to show to kind of show up show off but I liked it I liked it I, I I understood the reasoning behind it and I'm taking it and it seems to work so if you guys want to try it out try it out go ahead and let me know so for now guys I'll see you next time